Running D&D 5th edition combat inside Foundry VTT can be really nice because it takes the burden of adding math to your roles away from your brain, which can be very nice, especially for new players. However, there's still a bunch of stuff that you need to remember to add to yourself, whether they be extra roles or some extra numbers here and there, for example, for Rage on Barbarians. But I have five handy macros for you that will make sure that you don't have to do that stuff yourself and it will automatically take care of that stuff so if you want to take your foundry games to the next level and run them even smoother than before then this is the video for you hi my name is fondue I give you foundry VTT tips and tricks and daily D&D memes as well so if that's something you're interested in please hit that subscribe button down there and like this video but let's get started with this Foundry tutorial, shall we? Before we get started, I need to preface some stuff here. So, first of all, I'm using Foundry version 9 myself, so I know that this works with Foundry version 9. They should work with 10 as well, but I don't want to make any promises. On top of that, I am using the D&D 5th edition latest system, so these macros are meant for that system. I can't guarantee they work with anything else. And finally, I'm going to be putting links to where you can find these macros so you can easily just copy paste them into your games as well. But with that out of the way, let's jump into Foundry so I can show you these macros and how they work. So we are now in Foundry VTT and I've already set up these macros to be ready to showcase them for you, but you'll have to set them up down here. Down here in the lower hand corner you have your macros bar. If you want to add a new macro, you simply click on an empty spot and it's going to open this window for you where you can name your macro and you can put the command in here and then you are able to save it. If you want to later look at your macros that you have in a list, there's a little folder button over here, you click that it opens this macro manager window. But with that out of the way, and let's delete this example, I'll show you the first foundry macro that I have, and that is for the spell Bane. Now, Bane is a very useful spell. You know, you can cast it on a bunch of enemies to give them a D4, minus D4 roll to their attack rolls. And the way that this works with the macro is very simple. Let's say this dude over here, is my target, I just select them, go over to the Bane macro down here, boom! You see, saw the little Baned came up here, and in the chat window you can see here that the Acolyte is Baned. So now, if the Acolyte were to attack, I'm gonna, this is from another uh, Foundry module that I can just select stuff up here, just for clarity's sake, I'm going to roll, and then we go down to the, the chat over here, you can see that in the formula is 1d20 plus 2 minus 1d4 and if we scroll down we can see that a 4 was rolled on that d4 so it automatically deducts that from the roll uh, we can actually make it even more visual I'll give Bane to my character over here and if I do a great axe roll you can see that the actual roll had the d4 there so it gets automatically added and added into the roll and then you know sub subtracted from the score very handy very useful and if you want to remove the bane you just have to have the character selected click bane again i'll do it for the acolyte as well there we go and then down here you will now see it says it has been removed they are no longer baned the next one is going to be in a similar vein it is a macro for blessed so blessed is the opposite of bane if you give that to your character or other characters they get to add a d4 to their role so this works in exactly the same way it's just the opposite so we, we can select our own character here is the bless macro down here boom blessed and then the next time we do an attack roll you saw you can see here a d4 was rolled and if we go over here and click here to see the formula 1d20 plus 3 uh, and plus 1d4 and we can see here that the dice was rolled and it was an, it was a 2 to add to the roll so that's that's very handy very nice and again to remove it just click the bless button again and bless has been removed so bane and bless this is just really nice so that you don't have to remember yourself to add that d4 or your players don't have to remember it yourself you can just tap that on to the various different characters next another support 
spell that gets used often that gets to add a little d4 that is guidance so guidance you get to add a d4 to your ability rolls so for example if we're to give the barbarian guidance over here boom you can see they are now guided it says here that the barbarian is guided and now if we make a in let's say an animal handling check you can see that a d4 was rolled and it was added over here and once again it is very very simple to take care of we just or to remove sorry we just click there again and guided has been removed now the last two are going to be very interesting because these are going to be class specific but they are very very useful so the first one is rage or the fourth one i should say it's rage so my barbarian here has rage of course as they are barbarian and barbarians get a few benefits when they are raging they get an advantage on their strength checks they get plus two damage to the damage rolls with scales depending on their level and they have resistances to certain damages now this macro wonderfully i just click it boom it says that the barbarian is now raging over here you can see it in the chat it gets posted there and you can see this little icon and while they are raging if i am to now make a great axe attack dice gets rolled it wasn't a particularly great roll but that's fine we can still roll damage roll just to see what comes out we get a seven or was that oh, sorry a ten not a seven my bad uh plus three from their strength and then plus two from their uh sorry let me move that plus two from the rage bonus the wonderful thing about this rage macro is that this damage that you get as a bonus for a barbarian will scale as you level up because as you level up the damage grows bigger and this macro automatically takes care of that now unfortunately this macro does not seem to take care of damage resistance i'm not sure why that doesn't work so you will have to make sure that you only apply half damage for bludgeoning slashing and piercing damage to your barbarian unless of course they have any other damage resistances that might come from their subclass but this is very handy i use this in two of my campaigns and it's very nice to not have to remember that myself now let's jump over to the last one which is a sneak attack and for that i'm gonna have to change my character here so just give me a second all right so we have our rogue here now and they are going to do a sneak attack for one reason or another they have sneak attack on them so we have the token selected remember that you have to have this token selected and then we click sneak attack we get a little thing here that says the rogue starts sneak attacking wonderful so now when they attack we're gonna use the short sword over here we roll again not a great roll but that doesn't matter uh, we're gonna roll the damage so you can see what that looks like click on the damage here boom 2d6 you can see that it rolled the extra d6 from the sneak attack or roll now again this is going to scale with your leveling up so as the rogue levels up and they get they get more dice for their sneak attack it will automatically be taken care of by this macro it's very useful highly recommend this because this is one of those things that is very very easy to forget so there you have it five macros that can make your dnd games run smoother and more automated inside foundry vtt as I mentioned, I'm gonna put links to the macros down there so you can just copy paste them into your own Foundry VTT games because they should work as is. What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. Are there any other types of macros that you wish were available for you? I know there are some others, but I can look into ones that I'm not familiar with and try to find them if you were to need them. And while you're down there, I would appreciate a like and a comment and a subscribe as well. And I stream every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern European Standard Time on twitch.tv slash funwithfondu. That is twitch.tv slash funwithfondu. I would appreciate a follow over there. You can find the link in the description as well. And right now on the screen, you're going to see another video of mine. It's going to be another Foundry tutorial. Actually, it's going to be a video talking about my top 10 must-have Foundry VTT module. So you should check that out. It's a good video. And hey, keep it nice and easy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.